Hi everyone, Mike here. In last week's video, I covered how to use the built-in colour picker on a Mac to capture a colour from anywhere on the screen and apply it to any object in Excel. A cell background, a font colour, an object, in fact, anything that can have colour applied to it. And since then, I've heard from a couple of people who asked me how to do it on Windows. As I said last week, despite there being a colour picker built into PowerPoint on Windows, it's not there in Excel. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. You'll need to download and install the Windows Power Toys, a set of free utilities from Microsoft that adds functionality to Windows. One of those utilities is a system-wide colour picker, and there's a link to download the Power Toys in the video description. Now, I appreciate that in a corporate environment, you may not be able to do this, so this may not be a solution for you. But if you can install the Power Toys, keep watching. Once installed, run the Power Toys from the Start menu. Click Colour Picker. Now, by default, the Colour Picker can be activated using Windows key plus Shift plus C. You can change that if you want to, which I've done to Alt and Shift and C. There's also other settings that can be changed here, but I've left those alone. I'll then close the Power Toys settings window and open the Excel file that I want to work with. What I've been asked to do here is set the background colour of the cells containing the flavour name and price to match the colour of the ice cream. And you can see that I've done it for Blue Moon, Vanilla and Rose. I need to do it for the other three flavours. So I need to call up the colour picker by pressing Alt and Shift and C. I'll then hover my mouse over the colour for the first ice cream, which is caramel, and click. And what that does is it brings up the colour picker interface and it adds the selected colour, the one I've just clicked on, at the top of the list. The panel on the left hand side is the history and it displays the last 20 colours I've selected using the colour picker. Before applying the colours to the cells, I'm going to click on the colour picker icon, the eyedropper at the top left, and click on the mint colour. And then do the same thing for the strawberry colour. So I have those three colours as the most recently selected colours in the colour picker. I also want to set the colour of the macro button to the green from the header image, the one that says excellent ice cream, luxury parlour and cafe. So I will click on the eyedropper and click anywhere on the green and it adds it to my history. The editor also allows you to fine tune any picked colour or get a similar colour. You can see that it suggests two lighter and two darker shades of the currently selected colour, and selecting any of those alternative colour shades will add the selection to the history of the picked colours. But I'm going to leave the colours as they are. Now I need to apply the colours to the appropriate cell backgrounds. So the first thing to do is to select the cell with caramel and the price, click the fill colour button, click on more colours, click on custom, and I need to delete out the current hex value, go to the colour that I want to use from the palette on the left hand side, the history, and then click on the copy button against the hex code and paste it into the hex box in the colours dialog and click OK. And then do the same thing for mint. So select the cells, go up and select the colour, more colours, custom, delete out the current hex value, select the colour that I want to use from the history palette on the left, click on the copy button against hex and paste in the hex code and click OK. And strawberry, do the same thing. Select the cells, go up to the fill colour, more colours, custom, delete out the hex code, select the colour from the palette on the left, copy the hex code 
and control V to paste it into the hex box and click OK. And then finally, I want to set the color of that macro button to be the green, which I've got on the left hand side. So click on the button, which is just a shape, go to shape format, shape fill, more fill colors. Again, go to custom, delete out the hex value, select the colors I want to use, copy the hex value and paste it in the hex box. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my weekly newsletter, which you can do at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.